Hello everybody, my name is Tubus Blood and welcome back to my Fallout 4 Settlement Showcase series and this time we are here at Vault 88. So before we proceed any further, there are possible spoilers that will be addressed in this video. If you do not own the Vault Tech DLC, I would suggest you turn back now. And uh, I just kind of locked myself out here at the vault, see if I can open the door from here. If I can, awesome. <laughs> I was out here just to get the thumbnail, but awesome. So the backstory for Vault 88 would be that it was an unfinished vault when the bombs dropped. Um, there was an overseer in charge, and she's still overseer. I believe her last. I believe her name was Barstow, but uh, she had a series of experiments that she did, was not able to conduct because the bombs fell and the vault that subsequently was not finished was uh, buried underground by rubble, and so on and so forth. And then, so once you pick up the radio frequency on your Pip Boy for Vault Tech. Voltec calling, uh, you get the radio signal so you can come and help out in uh, Vault 88 and then you conduct the experiments and then subsequently you get the vault as a settlement. So here we are, um, I've got a man on, man on deck with his own pit boy and that's the only other thing is that you can give settlers pit boys in this DLC. So I've got a man uh, manning the <laughs> as a security clearance and I most of the time like to keep the door closed even though I don't know why it was open when I came in here to start this video but I just prefer to keep my vault closed not to isolate myself like they do in vault 81 but just for security purposes I prefer not to do it I mean we do get a provisioner coming in and out of here I don't know how with the door closed but somehow it happens um, here we have another settler on defense. This is another uh, defense station, which is just a barricade, if it will show. There we go. Uh, a little. I don't know why it does not want to show. But yeah, this is a little defense uh, stand in the Vault Tech DLC. Where I think it's under guard post. Yeah. He's and then uh, security desk. Whoops, no, I don't want to do that. Alright, so that's the de the fences here. And then we proceed through the radiation thing. That does not actually work. Um, okay, and then you come around here. And here's one of the three many spots where you can um, build your vault. And... Uh, so here's one section of it, and then there's an east sector, and then northeast sector, and then I just believe a north sector. Yeah. Um, if you go down the east sector, it leads to a giant 200 water pump? No, 100, I'm sorry. It leads down to a giant 100 uh, percentage water pump. So that's what I got here is, oh, there's also a, I mean, you could build a fusion generator if you want to. I think he has something to say, but I'm just going to ignore him. So there is this um, generator here in this room, a vault tech reactor. So it provides 150 power to your settlement. This is also your radio beacon for vault 88. Uh, so basically you, like, it flows through the floor. This is also what the workshops look like in Vault Tech, is these wicked things. Um, so yeah, the power flows through the floor, so the way I was having to do it is uh, make all these floor panels. It looks really bad, but it's just for the sake of this settlement being completed. Uh, you flow through all the way here, and then you can get these wall conduits. Uh, that draws power from the vault tech reactor and then I got conduits stringing all the way down this sector of the subway 
going all the way down. I mean, you could just simply just build a gen not build another, another generator and connect it to here, but I just prefer to do it this way. And then here's the water pump. If I can, whoa. Oh well. So yeah, there's the water pump. And there is a ton of enemies you can fight in here. There is at least, again, for those who haven't seen the Vault Tech DLC or played it, uh, there is a Sentry Bot, a bunch of Mylurks, small rats. Um, there is also a... actually one or two Death Claws, I forget. There's a couple of Death Claws in here. Um, personally, I struggled with this deal with with uh, the Voltec building set. I always have. I'm. I I've seen other builds where people just kind of turn it into an underground city, and this is more or less what I kind of did with it. Maybe from a story perspective, it could be like um, partially completed, so that you get all the floor pieces and rooms and stuff like that. So here is our residential junk, not junkyard dog, our residential guard dog who is struggling right now with a pit bull from the Creation Club. Um, we got two or three scavenging stations. I think we have only got two. Then you come up here. We got ourselves our market again. We got clothing. I actually don't. No, I should have a bar. I don't know where it is. Oh, never mind. It's up there. Okay. So, here is uh, clothing, uh, doctor, and I got Tina DeLuca from Vault 81 to join me. Oh, that was a bit of a moral problem with getting Tina DeLuca. So, at least on the PS4 version, there is, uh, there is some glitch, sort of some bugs with Tina DeLuca. Um... So the story for her in Vault 81 is that her brother Bobby is the one who uh, is a chem who is addicted to chems in Vault 81, and uh, she wants to leave the vault, but uh, he causes trouble in Vault 81. I'm not going to go over the entire story, but um, Bobby causes trouble. Then after you complete the story, you can go talk to. Tina and she will say she wants to either leave the vault or get Bobby off his chems. Um, and so you can do that. You can either convince Bobby DeLuca to go get himself clean or you can either kill him yourself or convince him to kill himself. Um, and then you could talk to, D to Tina and then you can try and recruit her to your settlement. The problem there is uh, from the research I've gathered in order to get her in my settlement, uh, I had to go with either having to convince him to kill himself or actually had to kill Bobby in order to get him to, to get her to come here. Um, personally, I would prefer to just send him to the doctor to get himself clean from, like, let it up to him to get himself clean. Um... And, uh, so you try to do that ending and you can, I think that it's, it's like a red speech check in order to get her to join your settlement. And I have succeeded in doing that, but then nothing happens after that. So that's why there's a bug in order to get her in your settlement. I'm sure on PC, there are console commands in order to fix this. This is at least a problem still on the PS4 version. I can't say for the Xbox One since I do not have an Xbox. Um, so yeah, I had kind of had to go with a morally wrong ending to that quest in order to get her, but um, she is a level 4 merchant, so she uh, has quite a bit of stuff. I'm actually not sure which one she's supposed to be specific for. Um, like if she's supposed to be a general trader I think she's supposed to be a general trader because there are level 4 merchants scattered throughout the game that are specific for uh, food and drink um, 
general weapons and such like that, like the vault tech rep. Anyway, so that's that. Here's our farm. We got ourselves quite a carrot farm. And this is Clem. Uh, he's the one that you perform all the experiments on from the comfort of your overseer's terminal, which we'll see later. Uh, I, there is one spawn point, or I think there's supposed to be at least like one enemy spawn point, but I think it modifies to how you built your vault. Um, in previous attacks I have been attacked from down here by feral ghouls and then otherwise I get super mutants and raiders and gunners attacking and spawning like right here so that's why I've got three turrets here and I think there's even some that come and spawn over here because um, I've gotten bodies over this way so that's why I put down uh, turrets here Whoa, what are you doing walking all the way out there, buddy? Um, so there's also a few alternate ways to get out of the vault, or alternate exits, entrances, whatever, to get out of the vault. Um, one of them being a uh, University Point Pharmacy, which is that University Point, which uh, has a hell of a story in and of itself, which would be right here so we're right here right now on the map for vault 88 but then you can get in and out of the vault here at the pharmacy and then I'm not sh or yeah it's like somewhere around here is another way you can get out of the vault and it's like a giant uh, super mutant uh, not really a hideout but lack of a better term a super mutant hideout location and you come out of a sewer pipe and there is a uh, parking garage that you can go th through and it's more or less like the gauntlet in Nuka World it has very similar traps and such um, but at the top of the parking garage and your reward is the uh, hot rod the pink hot rod flames uh, paint job from Hot Rodder magazine which I did not know and then I did this and yeah. Uh, so here is uh, the living situation. I got my Phoropter here. I kind of forgot about that. Um, the one thing I don't like is that these vault -Tec lights are really, really dim. I might be just be using the wrong ones, but in order of using lights that would be similar to the string of lights that I've used in all my other settlements that you've seen in the past, um, I try to pick ones that were similar to those and these just don't do justice whatsoever okay so coming up here is my overseer's office and it looks like there's quite a bit of light right here and I don't know why that is For some reason I struggled to get through this door frame so I got a giant fallout boy um, my overseer's window and it's very very dirty and I don't understand why uh, here's my vault tech painted T45 suited power armor, 60, excuse me, they're very similar to me. My population settlement software, and then my overseer's desk. And then if we go into this other part of the vault, here's the eating area. So I've got bar, food and drink, we got the photo, soda fountain. And we got Slocum's Joe, and I figured that we'll just make it unique. We're not going to build an entire Slocum's Joe. We would just have this stand. So, there's that. I don't know why this is here, but it's not connected to anything. Huh. That's weird. Alright, that is it for Vault 88. I know this is a very underwhelming vault um, and settlement, but... Just in general, I struggle with this settlement so much. Um, I've actually like written out blueprints in some of my notebooks, and I try to replicate it what I've I've drawn out, but I just cannot get it to work to save my life. So that's that <laughs> for attempting to make a real vault. So I'm just like, you know what? To hell with it. We'll just make an underground city and 
it's kind of lackluster, but uh, it is what it is, you know. I kind of wish that like these, like one of these three subway tunnels would go somewhere, but they don't. But uh, yeah. So that is my Vault 88 Solomon. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to drop a like on this video to subscribe and hit that bell notification button for the rest of this uh, Solomon Showcase series here on YouTube. Thank you everybody so much for watching. I'll catch you guys next time.